that there's some of the work that I do um, is in diversity and inclusion. And one of the things that we do is to, to get people to reflect on what privilege looks like. And I know quite often conversations for black folks about privilege can be quite sensitive because to many degrees, we, we are like oppressed in many ways. And yet still many of us by virtue of where we are born have privilege, like my passport is a privilege. I, I, there are many places I don't need a visa. No one's gonna question me too deeply about once I wave that blue passport. I'm pretty much good to go. Uh, my accent is also a privilege. People assume things about me because of the way that I speak. Yeah, I, I definitely don't take the UK for granted. I have a lot that I benefited from that people here in Grenada, who are in some ways are probably more, more capable and more competent than I am, don't have access to. But by the simple accident of where I happen to be born and the choices that my parents made, I had a lot at my fingertips. I, I can't knock the UK. I love London in many ways. I don't particularly like being there now, but I have respect for it as a city. As cities go, it's pretty awesome. But yeah, like in a relationship when you're just like, you, it's been lovely, but we're done. You can try all you want, right, but we're done. Right. One of those.